Okay, so welcome. This is a linear programming problem, and I'll put below in terms of the links uh, which textbook this comes from. And uh, also in the link we'll have the actual file so that if you want to open it up in Excel and look at it. But what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to take the problem, and what we're going to do is we're going to look at the information and then do what we call a formulation, which is take all this uh, stuff, this information, put together an objective, and then put together our constraints. And then once we've done that, then we want to set this up in Excel and then use Solver to solve it. Okay, so the media selection problem. So again, this is uh, the company is Win Big Gambling Club, and they, they take people and they, I guess, send them to tropical areas uh, for gambling. So this club has budgeted $8,000 per week for local advertising. All right, so take a look at that. So there's a clue right here in terms of clues. So I just put that in red there. And that would be a constraint, right? They, they don't have uh, unlimited budget. Uh, whatever you, you try and optimize, it's supposed to be within that budget of 8,000 for local advertising. So the money is to be allocated among four uh, promotional media. So we have the TV spots, the newspaper ads, and the two types of radio advertisements. All right, and the two types of radio advertisements is the uh, prime time and of course the uh, it looks like the afternoon spots okay and their goal is to reach the largest possible high potential audience through the various media okay so again they're trying to reach and this is going to be the largest possible high potential audience and again i can highlight that right there and what that's telling you is it's it's going to be trying to maximize so with our budget Let's maximize and reach as many people as possible with our ads. So on Solver, this would be a maximizing problem. When we're uh, opening up Solver, we would choose uh, maximize over minimize. So WinBig's contractual arrangement requires that at least five radio spots be placed each week. All right, so this is going to be, and I'll highlight that because that is a constraint. So we highlight that give that some color okay so at least five radio spots be placed each week all right so that's the minimum right uh, six is okay five is okay but four is not okay three is not okay the, the least that they want to have is five it looks like and next to ensure a broad scope promotional campaign management also insists that no more than 1800 be spent on radio advertising each week all right, so we'll highlight that because that's another constraint. So no more than 1,800 is spent on that. So again, it looks like they want uh, five or more radio ads, but they don't want them spending too much on it because they want to use the other uh, types of media that are out there. So no more than 1,800. So that's the most that they can spend on the uh, uh, radio advertising. And that has two components, as we'll see. Okay, so let's take a look. And we've got to try and figure out our objective function. Now here is our decision variable. So we'll let t, and again, we'll just choose that t equals the number of one minute uh, television spots each week. And n equals the number of full page uh, newspaper ads. P is the number of prime time radio spots. And A is the number of uh, afternoon radio spots. Take a look here at the table. Okay, and you'll see the reach per ad. So, so TV, as you can see here, has a reach of 5,000. And the newspaper has a reach of 8,500 people. Radio spot, and that's in the prime time, 2,400. And radio spot in the afternoon is 2,800. Now here's the cost per ad, right? Here's how much each ad costs. And here's another constraint as well. This is the maximum ads per week. So, uh, you know, no more than uh, 12 TV ads, no more than five daily newspaper ads, all right, no more than 25 for prime time uh, radio spots and no more than 20 for afternoon radio spots. So that, again, would be a, a limitation as well. All right, so th those are the constraints. So let's take a look and let's put together uh, an objective function based on what we have. All right, so we're trying to uh, maximize audience coverage. So we're trying to maximize Equal, and if you could take a look here, uh, let's do TV first, and TV has an audience reach of 5,000. So we would do uh, 5,000, 
and then multiply it by t, right? So we have the t there. And then that would be added to the uh, n for number of newspaper. A newspaper has uh, 8,500, right? So 8,500 for that one there. And that's going to be multiplied by n for newspaper. All right. And then the next one is p for uh, primetime radio. And primetime radio would reach 2,400. And that's uh, p for prime time. And then lastly, we have A, which is afternoon radio spots. Afternoon radio spots reach 2,800. Okay, so this is our objective function. And now we want to think about our constraints. And if we want, we could just work on these constraints here in terms of uh, maximum ads per week. So we could just go through that. So for example, for uh, T, they said um, 12 is the max. Anything less than or equal to is, is okay. So for that one, we would say uh, less than or equal to uh, 12 for that one. Okay, and the other one is the newspaper. And for the newspaper, that's N. And you can see here for five, right? So that would be less than or equal to, less than or equal to um, five for that one. Actually, prime time is next, right? So prime time, and you can see that they want um, no more than 25. So the most we can do is 25. So anything that is less than or equal to 25 would be a constraint. And then for the next one, it would be afternoon. And afternoon, maximum ads are 20. And we can do that. Okay, so those are the constraints. Now let's do some constraints in terms of our budget, right? All right, so remember, we had $8,000 to spend. So anything less than or equal to 8,000 is okay. All right, so we can do, so let's do our budget one. Okay, so when it comes to money, it looks like the TV spots, T is 800. All right, so that would be uh, 800 T. All right, plus uh, newspapers cost 9.25 per ad. So that would be 9.25. And then uh, it would be N for newspaper. And then next one would be for prime time is 290. All right, so 290 for every uh, prime time ad. And then plus 380 for every afternoon ad. So that would be 380. For every afternoon ad. Okay, and that amount has to be less than or equal to uh, $8,000 because that was our budget that we spotted. Yeah, we said, okay, $8,000, that's the most we could spend, and here's how much it is per ad. All right, so that's that one there. Now, um, the next one is it says at least five radio spots be placed each week. So at least five radio spots. And as you know, radio spots consist of two areas, right? There's the primetime radio and the afternoon one. So we have uh, primetime plus the uh, A for afternoon. And it's saying that at least five radio spots be placed. All right, so that means that it's greater than or equal to five. All right, so that, that means that any combination that's equal to or above five meets that constraint. Okay, let's look at the next constraint that we have. And that is uh, no more than uh, 1,800 be spent on radio advertising per week. All right, if you remember from before, the uh, prime time was uh, 290 and the afternoon was 380. So that would be uh, 290 multiply by P plus 380 multiplied by A for afternoon. And again, they want to keep it at that amount or less, right? So no more. So 1800 and below would be okay. So that would be uh, less than or equal to, and that would be uh, 1800. Okay, and we also have the non-negativity 
constraint as well. And that's something that's built into Solver. So we don't have to put it into our Excel table when we make it. It's actually something that's automatically chosen in uh, Solver. It's, it's basically saying, I won't look for uh, negative answers. OK, so we have all that. Now we can set up our Excel table. All right, so we can make some space. We can just have this at the top to refer to. All right, we can make things a little bit bigger. So let's uh, zoom in a bit. OK, so we'll set this up and we'll just use the uh, methods that the uh, textbook was using. And that is putting the objective variables at the top. So T for television, uh, N for newspaper, P for primetime radio, and A for afternoon radio spots. And again, we could type that in. We could just say TV spots. Right, we can say newspaper ads. You know, and this would be um, radio. And again, I would be typing this in just for other people to use. And as well for me, if I <laughs> walk away from this problem and come back a few minutes, a uh, few months later, all right, and this would be afternoon uh, radio. Okay, and then if we want to make it a little nice, we can center all these and they'll stand out a bit more. There we go. Okay, and then here we would have the sort of number of units, right, number of uh, ads or spots. All right, so this would be number of units. And I can just click over here to widen that out. And again, um, what we've been using in the past is we would make these uh, yellow to draw our attention to. And these, remember, remember, are the decision variables. These are the ones that are going to change, right? Okay, so let me just go into make it nice and yellow. There we go. And underneath here, we would be looking at the audience. Okay, if you remember from before, the audience for TV is right here. It's 5,000. That's the audience. Newspaper ads, you can see right here, uh, 8,500. And primetime radio was 2,400. And afternoon radio was 2,800. Okay, so 2,400 and 2,800. There we go. So this is what we have uh, so far. Now we need to put in our constraints. All right, we like to bold the constraints so it uh, draws our attention to it. All right, so we can just go into home, just press bold. Okay, so here we want to have our total coverage. So we want to have what is the total amount of coverage? What did we choose? And again, we're going to use the sum product. So we just do our sum product and this is where we get to really take advantage of using some product is as we have more decision variables. We've got four decision variables. Some product really comes in handy. So what we're doing here is we are highlighting here and then a comma. And then we're highlighting above. And this gets, if you remember from before, this will get, let me just move this over here. There we go. This gets, uh, if you're using uh, what you would call a PC, you would hit F4, and that would put the dollar signs, and that will make it uh, what we call an absolute address. It fixes it. All right, so you click on it. And then again, if you double click, you'll see that it's highlighting these two areas. And what it's going to do is, is basically setting up this. All right? It's setting up this. It's saying 5,000 times however many TV spots plus 8,500 plus however many newspaper ads were chosen plus 2,400 times the prime radio spots that we had plus 2,800 uh, audience and that's going to be multiplied by however many radio ads that we did. So that's what that is uh, doing for us. So underneath we'll do our constraints. Okay, we'll call this one maximum TV. So this would be max uh, TV that we'll do. All right, so we're setting it up just like we have here. So TV, newspaper, prime time, and afternoon. So that would be max TV. And then there was uh, max uh, newspaper. And then we had uh, max, and this is a P time 
radio. And then we had max. And that was afternoon. Radio. All right, I can just double click to widen that out. Now, uh, we did have uh, one for total budget, right? All right, so we have one for total budget. Okay, we also have one for maximum radio in general. So there was maximum individual types of radio, but there's also maximum uh, uh, radio dollars in terms of how much we should be spending. And we also had a minimum as well, minimum radio spots. So we had a minimum uh, radio spots. All right, and that, that conforms to how we're doing it over here. If you remember, we formulated all this here. So we're translating this and putting it into Excel. 